Talawa Ocean Kingston, uh, Kingston Pilot. Yes, C Span Sambezi, inward bound. 3,000 questions for Sidon on board. The sea is as beautiful as it is dangerous, and this facilitator of trade is just as likely to hide tight channels and other shallow dangers as it is to offer smooth waters for sailing. Under the law, the Port Authority of Jamaica's pilotage service is the compass that directs the safe navigation of all the island's domestic waterways under the guiding hands of specialized marine pilots. We are the experts that carry the ship. We are the only qualified people who are knowledgeable in where all the shallow waters, dangers, and shoals are. My job is to mainly dispatch the pilots to navigate vessels in and out of ports around the island. And I provide assistance to the Coast Guard, the police, and other persons who may request my assistance. When I come here and take over this desk, it's no joke. You know, I'm responsible to assist the pilot in any way possible so that we can ensure that the vessel, our vessels, are navigated safely. No two ships are the same. No matter how many times you go to sea, there's always something different. You, you can never be bored or complacent in this job. Welcome back to Sunrise. Now, the Port Authority of Jamaica is known to be the government's chief maritime agency responsible for the regulation and development of Jamaica's port and shipping industry with a vision be of becoming the Western Hemisphere's premier institution of maritime excellence. Now, while the agency plays a key role in national development, it has specific responsibilities that include port security, the safety of all vessels navigating Jamaica's ports, the development of special economic zones, and logistics. So joining us for a literal deep dive uh, this morning <laughs> is, <laughs> is Dr. Hortense Ross Inerarity, the superintendent of pilotage at the Port Authority of Jamaica. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Great, great. Nice to have you. Thank you very much. It's nice so to be good. here. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to have you. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Oh, no, it's good. All right, it's all, all right. But for those of us, some of us, hypothetically speaking, who don't know much about the Port Authority, um, you know, Dennis kind of gave us a rundown of some of the things that you do. But if you were to break it down to a layman, what's the function of the Port Authority of Jamaica? What do you guys do? The function of the Port Authority, two of the main functions of the Port Authority of Jamaica is port regulation and port development. And at the palliative department, the role we play is to support the Port Authority in achieving success in those areas. Mm. Okay. Mm. So when we look at your role, sometimes people have a difficulty in delineating between Port Authority, Customs, Marine Division of the JCF, Coast Guard. So locate where you are in the nexus of, you know, governance of our coasts and port. Okay. All vessels calling at Jamaican ports are required to have a licensed pilot on board. Port Authority focus on port safety ship safety, mm. port development, regulatory compliance, and enforcement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about maritime traffic mm -hmm. and facilitating international trade, mm -hmm. the Port Authority plays a very critical role in that area. And mm. we also support the local economy by virtue of the trade facilitation activities. Indeed, the, when we, we know that persons who specialize in pilotage, they go to school for a long time. <laughs> it is a very specialist area. Tell us about the importance of like pilotage in the whole ecosystem of the ports. Okay. 
First of all, let me tell you that a marine pilot is a specialist. They are local Absolutely. experts Absolutely. in navigation and hazard, and they are also ensuring that vessels that call at our ports, the mm -hmm. risk, are assessed and carefully managed to ensure the safe docking and undocking of the vessels. So key, mm -hmm. every port facilitates international trade. Mm -hmm. Ports are gateway to the international trade. Yes. And therefore, to you to for you to facilitate that, you need the vessels to come into and out of the port safely. Mm -hmm. And it is the marine pilot who carries out that function. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me about the critical functions that we play at the Port Authority and at the Pilotage Department in particular, you're talking about regulatory enforcement and compliance. Mm -hmm. You're talking about port safety. You're talking about ship safety. You're talking about stakeholder engagement because we cannot do it alone. You're talking about trade facilitation and, of course, effective communication. Doc, mm. when you said um, regulatory enforcement, give me an idea of something that is enforced by, you know, um, the PAJ or the pilotage department. Okay. At the pilotage department, we operate on the provisions of the Pilotage Act of 1975 and its regulations. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in Jamaica, one critical component is compulsory pilotage. And what that means is that every vessel calling at Jamaican ports are required to have a licensed pilot on board. Because again, ship safety is important. Mm -hmm. If you have a marine accident, for example, it's going to disrupt your supply chain. It's going to di disrupt the flow Definitely. of goods into mm -hmm. and out of the country. Mm -hmm. Because we, we strive on import and export and mm -hmm. transshipment. Mm. So ship safety is very important, and that's a critical function of the marine pilot. So, so you know, you're, we're talking a lot about shipments, and I'm, sh I'm sure that means the big ships with the containers and things like that. But th does the Port Authority also um, work along with, like, so for example, cruise ships that are coming in carrying, you know, passengers? Th that's also under your jurisdiction mm -hmm. as well, that yes? Correct. Mm -hmm. When we talk about maritime traffic, we're talking about all, all different traffic. types of ships. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. fortunately for us in Jamaica, we have different types of ports, different types of cargo being imported and exported, and different types of ships. So we have the cruise ships, so we have cruise ship terminals, we have dry cargo vessels like for Discovery Bay, for example, Backside. Mm -hmm. We have liquid bulk for the oil that Petrojam imports and distributes so we can drive our cars and all of that. And we have the container vessel and we have a specialist container terminal at KFTL. That's a dedicated container terminal. And at the same time, we also have Kingston Wharves that receive different types of ships. Mm -hmm. The cars and the lorries and the buses and so on, most of those cargo are imported at Kingston Works. One of the things that I find fascinating about what you do, and you probably take these things for granted, is knowledge of the lanes of, because this is an aspect of pilotage, that you know the, 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 where the ship is supposed to go because the, the, the port is, is of a certain depth, and you know what kinds of ships are supposed to go there. And so if it's at Ochi, at the pier, if it's at Falmouth, at the pier, you have, your, your trained pilots know exactly where to pilot the ship mm -hmm. to go. And, uh, you know, that level of familiarity with the space and that level of communication, there are so many things going on at the same time. That takes a lot of training. Are we producing more pilots, marine pilots for the industry? That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Actually, currently we have seven apprentice pilots mm -hmm. in training. Whoa. Yes, and three are being examined as we speak. Mm -hmm. And you are correct. It is a very demanding, very detailed mm -hmm. um, job. A vessel, um, a ship, that call it a port, the value of that ship is several million US dollars. Yes. And the cargo on board mm -hmm. values a lot. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the safety of the ship is very important and as I said before marine pilot and the service they provide is critical to port safety and ship safety mm -hmm. we cannot afford marine accident and incident because it disrupts everything mm. our country the economy depends on us because we facilitate trade yes. we are trade facilitators mm -hmm. think about a, the Dali accident in Baltimore and the impact it has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we're an island state mm -hmm. it will cripple our economy Indeed. So we strive to, so piloting is about risk assessment and management. Mm -hmm. That Definitely. is fundamental to what we do. And once we get that right, all the other benefits accrue. Because mm. then you have this smooth flow of goods mm -hmm. into and out of the port. 
you have vessels coming in, spending less time in port, that is what you want because it market your port. Mm -hmm. And so you get new customers, retain the existing one, and the reputation of your port is enhanced. Mm. I love Absolutely. That. I, I, learned, I learned something. <laughs> I, I honestly knew so little about this, so thank you so much. That was really, really helpful. Uh, that was Dr. Hortense Ross in Arority, superintendent of, of the uh, superintendent of pilotage, pilotage at the Port Authority of Jamaica. So, all right. All aboard, all aboard. On the other side of the break, it's time for Breakfast is Served with Shelly Shores. Hmm. Shelly Shores, all right. You don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs>